guys, over here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 5 Module 1 Lesson 9 homework. So let's get started. Number 1, solve. Alright, so A, we have 3 tenths plus 4 tenths. 3 plus 4 is 7, so our answer will be 7 tenths. And B, we have 12 tenths plus 9 tenths. 12 plus 9 is 21, so our answer is 21 tenths. And 21 tenths um, will be written like 2.1, and this number has two ones and one tenth. All right, C, three hundredths plus four hundredths is seven hundredths. But now 27 hundredths plus seven hundredths. 27 plus seven is 34, so our answer is 34 hundredths. And this number is written as 0 0.34. So this number has three tenths and four hundredths. And E, we have thousandths. So four thousandths plus three thousandths equals seven thousand. But then 20, 39 plus five is 44 thousandths. And that number will be written like 0 0.044. So it has four hundredths and four thousandths. Right, and G, five tenths plus seven thousandths. So we have two different units here. So one thing that I learned when I was in fifth grade, my teacher like what helps is that you can write it in standard form. So five tenths would be 0 0.5 plus seven thousandths would be 0 0.007. And when I'm doing the standard algorithm, Thing. I, I would always write zero at the end of the other numbers to help me. So then zero, zero plus seven is seven. Zero plus zero is zero. Five plus zero is five. And zero plus zero is zero. And move the decimal point down. So we have five, zero point five oh seven. So that number has 507 thousandths. And H four ones, four tenths plus four tenths. So four ones, four tenths is 4.4 plus 0 0.4. So that'd be eight and then four. And if you move the decimal point down, we have 4.8, which is 48 tenths. All right, and I, we have eight thousandths. So that's 0 0.008 plus six ones, that's six and eight thousandths, 0 0.008. So 8 plus 8 is 16, 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, and 6 would be here. And move the decimal point down, we have 6.016, which is the same as 6,016 thousandths. Alright, number 2, solve using the standard algorithm. So A, we have 0 0.4 plus 0 0.7. So let's write it. 0 0.4 plus 0 0.7 and now let's add so we just add normally so 4 plus 7 is 11 so carry the 10 and then 0 plus 1 will be 1 and now we can't forget to move the decimal point down so our answer to 0 0.4 plus 0 0.7 would be 1.1 .1. and b we have 2.04 plus 0 0.07. 4 plus 7 is 11. Um, 0 plus 1 is 1. And 2 plus 0 is 2. And don't forget to carry the decimal point down. So our answer is 2.11. Alright, and C, we have 6.4 plus 3.7. 4 plus 7 is 11. And 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. And don't forget to carry the decimal point down. So your answer is 10.1. Alright, and D, we have 56.04 plus 3.04. 4 plus 4 is 8. 0 plus 0 is 0. Um, oh, did I? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Did I write 4? I meant to write a 7. 3.07. Huh. 4 plus 7 is 11. 0 plus 1 is 1. 6 plus 3 is 9. 
and then five would just be five. And we can't forget to move the decimal point down. So our answer is 59.11. All right, next page. All right, so E, we have 72.564 plus 5.137. 4 plus 7 is 11. 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. Um, 5 plus 1 is 6 plus 1 is 7. 2 plus 5 is 7 and 7 would just be 7. And move the decimal point down. Our answer is 77.701. Alright, and F we have, um, let's see, 75.604. Plus 22.296. 4 plus 6 is 10. 9 plus 0 is 9 plus 1 is 10. 6 plus 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. 5 plus 2 is 7 and 7 plus 2 is 9. Move the decimal point down. So your answer is 97.9. And you can write two zeros after if you want. All right, and number three, walk way over the Hudson, a bridge that crosses the Hudson River and, okay, Puff, I don't know how to pronounce that, okay, it is 2.063 kilometers long. Amping Bridge, which was built in China 850 years ago, is 2.07 kilometers long. What is the total span of both bridges? Show your thinking. All right, so to find the total span, all we need to do is add those two numbers together. So we have 2.063 plus 2.07. I could write a zero here if it helps. So three plus zero would be three. Six plus seven is 13. Zero plus one is one. Two plus two is four. So I move the decimal point down so 4.133 kilometers so the span of both bridges is 4.133 kilometers just for cam all right and b um, Leah likes to walk her dog on the walkway over the Hudson. If she walks across and back, how far will she and her dog walk? So across um, over the Hudson would be 2.063 kilometers long. But she's walking across and back. So that means she's walking the distance twice. So we do the same number plus the same number. So it's 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 6 is 12, 0 plus 1 is 1, and 2 plus 2 is 4. Move the decimal point down, so our answer is 4.126. So that means Leah and her dog will walk 4.126 um, kilometers. Alright, and number 4. For his parents' anniversary, um, Danny spends $5.87, that's 5.87, on a photo. He also buys a balloon for $2.49, 2.49, and a box of strawberries for $4.50, so 4.50. How much money did he spend all together? So let's add. 7 plus 9 is 16. Plus 0 is 16, so it's 16. 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 5 is 17, plus 1 is 18. And then 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 4 is 11, plus 1 is 12. And carry the decimal point down, $12.86. That means Danny spends. Twelve dollar eighty six cents. I'll take it. All right. So yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. 
And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you next time. Bye.